Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Summer. And today's video is a makeup video and I'm really excited about it because I feel like I haven't done a makeup video in a while. So I'm gonna be showing you obviously how to get this makeup look. I'm going on a date tonight with Dylan and Jess and Gabe and it's gonna be so much fun. We're doing an escape room. And I was like, now that it feels like fall, I could do a fall look. And I'm going on a date tonight so I have to get ready. So why not just film it? So it's like a fall date night look. This look is way more glam than I usually do because I was just having fun. It's not so much like my other makeup looks. If you want more natural makeup looks, I have like six million of them on my channel, but this one is a little bit more glam, so. I usually always talk through my makeup tutorials, but today I wanted to do a voiceover because I was just feeling it, so. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> I'm starting off with a fresh face and then I'm going to use my Lumine Glow Boost Essence and this just adds a lot more moisture and it's some glow. And then for primer, I'm using of course the Professionals by Benefit. This is my absolute favorite primer because it makes my skin feel so smooth. And then I'm going in with Cover FX Enhancing Drops everywhere where I'm going to highlight just so I can have a little bit of glow even before foundation. And throughout the video, you guys will see me use these Artiste Dupe brushes. I got these from TJ Maxx for like 15 bucks and they work amazing. So yep, now going on with my disgusting beauty blender, I'm blending everything out. For foundation, I wanted to switch it up and try out my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I haven't used this in a really long time and I love the finish of it. I really like how it feels on the skin. So just leave it like that and you're good. Psych, no, don't do that. I'm gonna blend it out now with my Beauty Blender. I applied it with a stippling brush just so I could like disperse the product all over, but then I wanted to blend it out. And then I realized it's a little yellow, so I went in with my favorite CC cream by It Cosmetics and I just kind of added that a little bit on top and it evened out the color a little bit better. I wanted to brighten up some parts of my face, so I'm using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and applying that just, you know, where you would usually highlight. So even like on my jawline, because I'm trying to be a pro, and I'm taking my really gross beauty blender once again and blending it all out. And now my face looks a little brighter. So now I'm going to bake with my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I love baking, but it's like super extra, so I don't do it all the time, but I love how it turns out. So, you know, just baking, ew. I'm just gonna try this, see if I can do it. So here I am attempting the cream contour with my Hula Quickie Stick. Quick Stick? Is that what it's called? I think it's called a Quickie Stick. But anyway, I'm just contouring everywhere I would usually contour. And that's the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, I'm just so funny. <sighs> okay, uh, anyway, going back with my beauty blender, I'm blending in the contour because, girl, we cannot leave it like that. Mm -mm. And I'm using a small version of those cute little brushes, as you can see here. I love these little guys. And then I'm sweeping off the powder so that I don't look like a crazy person. And, you know, I don't have too much powder on my face, obviously. That's how you bake. I can't have a makeup video without my Hoola bronzer, so I'm using this to set the cream contour and add even more warmth to my face. Next I'm using this Too Faced I Want Candy Banana Pudding Brightening Powder. I just got this and I love it and I just wanted to set the rest of my face because I feel like baking wasn't enough, I don't know. And now I'm using this NARS blush which is my absolute favorite blush and I feel like it's perfect for fall because it's kind of like a berry toned color and I feel like that's, I don't know, just kind of a staple for the fall. And next, I wanted to give my Glow Kit by Anastasia a try, but like, eh, didn't really like it. So of course, I'm going back to my Champagne Pop because that is my favorite. I can't not use it. For the brows, I'm gonna start with my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil and kind of spoolie my eyebrows out, of course, and then just apply it like I usually do. If you want to see how I do my eyebrows, I have a whole video on it. It'll be linked in the description box. But I'm just filling them in and setting them with my favorite Benefit products. 
I like to spray my face with a setting spray after I've done all of my face makeup, so I'm using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Now moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to be using Too Faced I Want Candy palette by Candy Johnson. This one just came out and it's so cute and it even smells like candy. It's amazing. So I'm going to start by applying a white base all over my eyelid up to my brow bone. And then for the base color, I'm using a taupe and a brown and mixing them together and putting them all over my eyelid. And this just makes it so your eyeshadow will just look warm because the base is already warm toned. So next I'm using this burgundy shimmery shade and I'm applying that on the outer part of my eyelid. And then I'm taking this other shimmery shade that's more pinky toned and I'm applying that on the inner part of my eyelid. Now for the crease, I'm taking this warm orangey shade and I'm applying that like normal. And I really like this because it just opens up the eyes even more and it brings out my blue eyes, which is the best. And then I'm taking the same color and putting that on my lower lash line like I always do. But this time, this is a little different, I'm taking a shimmery color and I'm putting that kind of in my inner corner and like the inner part of my lower lash line because it just makes your eyes pop. Okay, and I never wear eyeliner, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try eyeliner, but as you can see, it couldn't have gone worse. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just ruined my eye makeup and my face makeup. Come on, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Sure, please, love it. I just love it, At mm hmm so I had to redo part of my face makeup, which is always fun, you know, and then I redid my eyeshadow. But anyway, moving on, I'm curling my eyelashes and applying Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. I haven't used this in so long, but it's such an amazing mascara. It looks so natural and it lengthens amazingly. That's the finished eye look, and now last step is lips. So I'm using this Lime Crime liquid lipstick, and I don't remember what the shade is called, so I'll leave that in the description if you guys want to know. And then I just kind of blended that out with a brush, and that is the finished look. I love it so much. I think it's absolutely perfect for the fall, and I just love it. So I hope you guys do too. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm back. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to this point. If you did, I want you to comment fall. Also, if you have any fall videos you want me to do, totally leave them in the comments below. If you're new here and you liked this video, you're probably gonna like my other videos too, so you should totally subscribe. I got some fall videos coming up that are super exciting. I love fall. I want to give a quick shout out to you guys, McBabes of the week, because as you can see, you're freaking awesome. I think that's all I have to say, so I will see you guys on Wednesday for another video. Bye.